Steven! What do we have here today, bro? What's up, everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nax. Me and Sam are not going because we wanna let everyone else win. You know, we wanna yeah. let the kids have a chance. This is the deck that I would use. So without further ado, we are gonna get into it. But first things first, you guys gotta get the beautiful playmats at TriffGaming.com. Like, literally stop the video. Scroll down below. I put all of them very beautifully and all neat and organized for you guys. You're welcome. Please, don't even ask questions. Just play this list. Take this list card for card and dueling book. You have maybe like a few days until you uh, until you go to Nats and just get these cards and play it. Just trust me, okay? I've been in second place at the regional with it. This is my updated Punk Synchro Eldridge deck. And you guys, I'm telling you, it's the best way to play this deck. It's absolutely amazing. You play these 10. Nine of them are great to draw. I love drawing all nine of these. This is the only one you don't want to draw. That's fine. All right. Next, guess what? Exact same thing. Eight of these you love to draw. Amazing to draw. The one you don't really want to draw, and that's all right. Eight versus one good cards, that sounds good to me. So far, every card we saw, amazing. Next, we're going to play one snow as well, absolutely remarkable as well. A huge vital part of this deck. But one thing people don't realize is that in a deck like this, with playing 13 defensive cards, with the Eldritch cards, hand traps, all that, you literally set up a board because you go, the idea of this deck, what makes Chaos Ruler so broken, what makes Eldritch so broken, not only do you get value from, from your eight, 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 uh, Punk cards, you get six value with other cards from your six Magician Souls. So when you have eight cards that force a discard in these eight, and you have your six Magician Souls, that's 14 cards where you're going to be discarding for value. So when you disc, what better card is there in the game to send other than an Eldritch card? Like imagine sending Scarlet Sanguine with Magician Souls. Wow. The, the value is truly unbelievable versus going Magician Souls send like something you care about, like an Imperm, or using Foxy to discard a natural card you care about. So it's very vital. What makes the deck as well are these tuners. This is like legit the only one. This with the uh, punk cards are the only tuners you need to play. And the best normal summon in the deck is literally a hand trap because you want to make sure your opponent doesn't play. And like I said, this is amazing. What else makes this deck amazing is this. So when you play, just a very minor Elish count. Don't play a lot because you don't want to break on drawing way too many. So you just play three clonk, one Wakero. There's no DP in the format. You don't need more Wakeros. Only one Golden Lord. If they banish a Golden Lord, who gives a shit? You're not playing Elish. You're playing... This is Elish is just a minor engine in this deck. Mm. So you're just playing a minor bit. And don't get me started on how powerful it is when you hard draw Curse Ella with any of the Souls or uh, the Foxy, any of that. It's so insanely powerful. Or with Rite of Aramis here, the, these cards work hand-in-hand -hand with Enchantress as well. Wow. It's amazing. Now, yeah. it makes this deck so incredibly broken, okay? So, a lot of people agree that Chaos Ruler is the biggest part of this deck, right? That's why it's so powerful. Well, now, imagine your Chaos Ruler when you are having all these cards to add and all the grave effects involved with these. Like, there's just so much high value where you go Enchantress. Sorry, imagine Chaos Ruler and you're milling all these. All these grave effects you're milling, it's absurd how powerful wow. this is when you go Chaos Ruler for one of these. Absurdly powerful. Then it gets crazier. Typically, people don't play Zombie Vampire because it gives your opponent a little value, right? Well, in this deck, because of the L Lich, you always go into the Zombie Vampire. Because when you mill 9 in this deck, it's literally an FDK and there's no shot you lose the duel. Not only are you milling for your Enchanter and stuff like that, but you're milling L Lich cards. You're getting value, especially something Magician Souls, to draw more times in this deck. It is so absurdly broken what this deck does. And honestly, Chaos Ruler is not even that crazy in the normal Punk 40 card deck. It's not. It's like a fucking ass. It doesn't do anything. What's it going to do for you? So a lot of times, Chaos Ruler just adds you Ghost Ogre. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. adds you Veiler. It doesn't do anything else. In this deck, Milling 9 is literally an FTK. That's why El Lich is mandatory in this deck. It makes it so that actual Punk line is like 10 times stronger with Milling 9. Right. I don't care what my opponent mills. Because your end board is going to be some crazy, absurd 8 interruption exactly, board. Exactly. With like your plus, your plus 5, like... Plus 10, to be honest. It's absurd. Who cares what they mill? All the cards I've shown so far, with the exception of the one up here, no, or whatever, they're, they're all amazing to draw. And you're not drawing hands like th th this. is the hands that suck when you draw stuff like this, right? You're all Eldritch. That's why you only play 10 or 11 Eldritch cards in the 60 card deck. That, don't play more. Don't play more. Don't play two Golden Lord. Don't play none of that nonsense. You're playing such minor amounts that they're so broken to draw. Right. There's going to be scenarios where if, when you, like, so many times I draw, I'm draw. i drawing my hand, let's say I have three cards in my hand, I'm like, please, Elitch, please, Elitch, yes, Golden Land, yes! Or like, yes, Wakero, Wakero, the worst Elitch of all. But just that one Wakero, you're going to be able to out your opponent's board, you're going to put a situation where it's your opponent's two cards, or it's your two cards, and one of your two cards are Scarlet. Wow. And you just cannot lose in this scenario. I agree. Uh, and then the one Scythe. Best card. Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. And now 18 hand traps. 18? Yes. 
What's the percentage? With 18 hand traps. What's the percentage of this? Uh, the percentage of this, you're going to see two in every single hand. Every and hand. Every hand, you're going to see two, or maybe one, but you're going to see two. You're playing 18, and post side deck, you're actually playing 30. How what? 30. You said again? Hand traps. So post side deck, you actually play 30 hand traps. So wow. the reason behind it is you have. Steven, how are you so big brain, bro? I'm, I'm a genius. I'm actually a genius. My brain is bigger than the average person's body. Wow. To be honest. Wow. Yes. Uh, and if you guys look at some math here, this deck is literally organized perfectly. Don't think you're, don't think you're smarter than the pen god. Okay, you guys watching this video, you're gonna think, hey, I'm gonna be cute about it. I'm gonna exchange one ghost mourner because I don't. Shut the fuck up. Play this card, this deck, this exactly card for card. Don't change a thing. I have been playing this deck thousands of matches, this specific format, and it auto destroys everything. So look at this exact number. So you're going second, right? You have three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? So you have these 11 cards. All right, well, guess what? And 12. These are the 12 you don't want to have post side deck when you face the best deck in the game, which is after Pendulum Punk Synchro. They're in the side deck. There's exactly 12 cards you side out for these exact 12. So making it so you have 30 cards to stop your opponent from sighting you, 30 cards to stop your opponent from doing crazy combo stuff, and you have 30, all everything in here, the actual, they're combo cards, extenders, special summons, Etelis, Enchantress, souls like insanely high value cards so your opponent has no shot to win the duel so when you actually face a high a hot, heavy combo deck you just take these out for those well but when you face a normal like oh, not, deck. like a backward deck obviously you're going to keep them against any like decent like mid-range deck you keep the lit stuff for sure but insane combo like uh, dragon sword, link dragon yeah soul. dragon link i don't even count <laughs> sword soul sword soul is so easy to defeat in despia you keep some of the lit stuff in it that's those two decks are easy to do they're mid-range in my eyes there's, there's nothing in my eyes right but the deck we scared the best deck is punk synchro this format so you just take that out also dragon link is scary so for heavy combo like that or pendulum you just remove all that wow. it's a perfect 12 making it you have 30 cards post side deck against them but when you side deck against the mid range stuff, there's still small stuff to take out, like one side, one preparation of rights, like little stuff, maybe one uh, golden land, one scarlet, one crystal land, and you still like have enough against mid range. It's absolutely amazing how the deck is built. Now the extra deck, one relinquish handle, and one artifact deck, the one needle fiber. I, everything I'm about to show you is completely mandatory. Dark Lina, absolutely these two, so 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 vital. Why? I can't stress this enough. Going second, you go dark and Lina just to interrupt stuff to, as your base. You, uh, you take their levels. Like, this is what you play these. Not even for, forget the special summon. You use these, uh, the link climb is cool, but you steal their level and you have all sorts of different tuners. You have level ones, you have level threes, you have all sorts of different levels. You take their tuner if you're missing a tuner. These get you the tuner if you're missing them. There's so many cool, genius ways to utilize these cards that uh, get the perfect level that you need. One Selene and one Unicorn. Also very important because Going second, when you're trying to go for a game, you have two of these. So you'll try and use one of them until you take a light, okay? And then instead of going into Selene right away, you just go into Unicorn. Uh, forces and Interruption, let's say it's gone. Sure, next play. Dark, steal something else. Selene, Selene, access code. Oh my god, so oh it's like, it's wow. Very, yeah, it's very important to have the two Charmers and one Selene, one Unicorn. Very vital. You're insane. And the one access code, facts. Uh, absolutely remarkable. Also, the important thing to note is sometimes... Uh, crash these on purpose to search for your, your uh, follow up. Let's see, you want a Magician Souls. Wow. Let's see, you want Fairy Tale Snow because you have 40 cards in your deck, in your graveyard. Uh, make sure to utilize these like that if you need to. Uh, Synchros are Herald, TG Wonder, Shooting Riser, Air in the Floor, uh, Chaos Ruler, Zombie Vampire, uh, which is missing, but you need the Zombie Vampire, absolutely vital, and one Psychic and Punisher. Uh, psychic and Punisher is also extremely important because when you face Despia, the freest deck of all, you literally let them masquerade you, masquerade, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm at, 600, I'm at 800 life points. Psychic and Punisher, Special Summon, Enter Battle Phase, attack you for 20,000 billion life points. So that's so vital for a deck that's literally all over the meta. Its effect is important. It's so, like, this card literally, when Access Code came out, when it first came out, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, it's all right, it's whatever. Bro, this is one of the best cards ever made in history. Psychic and Punisher has the same power as this and Boral Sword. They are literally the end shot. It's so vital. Uh, the first that we're under the rug, it should not go under the rug. This card is truly remarkable. So make sure to play it. That's 15 cards, including the uh, zombie. Now the side deck, which is very important. This That's could, the 12. So the 12, this could be Joel Lockbird if you want. I'm just playing Ghost Bell uh, because I feel this deck doesn't need home run hand traps. I don't even play Gamma. I think Gamma is fucking dog shit. 50% of the time, Gamma is useless, sticks in your hand. You draw a driver, uh, useless uh, after you draw the first Gamma. You can't normal summon it as a tuner. I could go on and on. Uh, 
etc etc garbage uh good players play around it all that this could be droll but this the deck does not need home run hand traps it just needs to stuff that do decent and being a tuner is very vital dd crow token collector and cosmic so cosmic is obviously hit scythe so i'm considering it part of this so you would side all these 12 in for the 12 other stuff against the mirror match you cannot let them play it doesn't matter like they're low impact it doesn't matter what if your hand is all just like six hand traps i love that Why? this deck uh more than any other deck in the universe this format uh, you'll have you're gonna have situations where you drop four hand traps and one golden land. What do you do? GG. What do you literally? Do? GG. What do you do? Set golden land. Pass. Pass with absolute confidence. Your opponent is not playing through two hand traps, let alone three, let alone four. And then you're going to end phase with Caro, normal summon Ash Blossom, synchro summon Chaos Ruler. <laughs> it's over. There's nothing that could be done. Hands like that are the best. And if you look at the cards that you're drawing into Enchantress, you're drawing into uh, uh, Punk cards, you're drawing into Magician Souls, all these cards to draw into, there are the perfect cards to draw with hand You're traps. insane, bro. Facts. So what's and the last three cards? Then against Backrow decks, what's the only Backrow deck you're going to fear? Eldritch, right? So even though you only have four cards for Backrow, you really actually have ten. So against Eldritch stuff, you're fine. And no other deck is playing, like, what, Branded Eldritch, like... These are basically the only stuff. Against uh, Branded, these are good. It's just overall the best stuff. Uh, and also against Sword Soul, play these. I don't even fear the Sword Soul monsters. They're so easy to defeat. Uh, the back row is a little bit. Maybe th this is guaranteed. Maybe some of this if, if you really want to. And lastly, for going first, I don't believe in playing D-Barry or Anti-Spell. The deck is an auto win automatically going first. But playing just one way to Zombie World is important because you have Shooting Riser Dragon. So Shooting Riser Dragon, when you face against... So you're scared of Flunder. Uh, Flunder's free. You're just scared. just well, just generic decks. Like, for example, let's say against Dragon Link, you're just able to set this up for free. Let's say Chaos, you're milling nine times in your turn. So if you mill nine times and Banshee, you just sent, like, get sent, like, sure, thanks, it's free. Like, like it's just extra. I mean, it's, it's very nice. So that's the deck, guys. It's truly, absolutely amazing. I, it's a shame that I don't go to Nats because I feel like I already won Nats. If I go, yeah. it's over for everybody. I would be the favorite on the spot. Yeah. Not even Yami Yugi or Kaiba stands bro, a chance. You're, you're just giving them a chance. I'm giving them a chance. So yeah, you bro. guys should all actually thank me in the video right now. I'm expecting a lot of thank you comments. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for not going. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so for much. recognizing the greatness. Thank you so much. So uh, that would be you. that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Seriously, man. I'm for real. Please, please play this list card for card. You're going exactly what I'm talking about. There's a reason why once I finish second to this, I, I finished second with this at a Toronto Regional. Uh, a few weeks after, people are surely uh, Nats or, uh, and other countries in Europe, like Switzerland. There's two people that use my exact list that that want, someone won with it. Someone there's other lists in Australia won with it. Some other nationals in some country I've never heard of in my life. How come you? It. I'm it's literally just the best deck in the planet after Pendulums. I'm, it's literally not close. It's literally just not close. Steven. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before we end another video, make sure to smash the subscribe button on my channel and Team Samurai X One channel. Help me out with this video. Make sure to smash the like button and check out the beautiful. Play mats, and I will <laughs> give it a good kiss if you if you want. Just let me know. Uh, beautiful play mat. Get them on trippgaming.com. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.